Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna tell you about how I almost destroyed four terabytes of data yesterday um, unfortunately I didn't record it which is both good and bad because when I'm recording video it's a bit it's a bit harder to keep track of what I'm actually doing because I have to concentrate on also talking to the camera but here I have my little Synology NAS it's an older unit it has four drives in it and it's the DS 411 J it's an it's an only um, 256 megabytes of memory and probably a pretty slow CPU I haven't really looked into that it it does the job that it's supposed to do well I fucked up big time I did a video not many videos back where I took 8 terabyte red drive and put it in my big Synology at home um, to um, get more capacity out of that and I took that 3 terabyte drive out of there and that was supposed to go in here and it's actually in there right now but what I did was I turned off this box and I exchanged this 2 terabyte drive with the newer 3 terabyte drive and I powered the unit up again and that was a mistake because when I powered the unit back up again it found that drive the one from the Synology box at home and that's a bigger and newer Synology box so the firmware on that is also newer and this is this is all what I think happened so this box recognized a newer firmware and think that's the one we're booting on so it uh, tried to boot the system on that firmware and that screwed up everything or oh, not everything but a lot of things I was not able to to connect to the Synology box over the network anymore and well you know suddenly something is not answering so you go what the hell what's going on what's happening here so I was out here trying this and trying that and going forth and back and well I realized my problem that I should have deleted that drive before putting it in so I thought what what can the Synology box have done it's probably gotten a new IP and sure enough I went into the DHCP server and I found it had both taken a new IP and it has gone back to just calling itself a disk station <coughs> disk station is the name that the box comes with when it's brand new empty and and a complete version so that's not good I might want to tell you what I use this box for I use this for my I use this box as the backup for the data that I have at my apartment and that data is mainly these videos the the raw footage for those the edited version all the pictures and crap that I put in these videos are very neatly put in folders in there and um, I maintain them both places to not use the bandwidth for copying data forth and back I record something like 30 gigabytes of data every weekend making these videos and I don't want to use my internet connection to transferring 30 gigabytes of of this data forth and back so I have a little transportable hard drive that I use and I copy the data out and I well that takes that takes a little bit of time every time that's actually where this thing came into play you might have seen this in another video um, to make uh, make this faster because it has an SD card reader so I can take the, the SD card from the camera and I can put it on this server a lot faster than I can from the camera this is USB 3 and the camera is only able to do USB 2 when you're taking data out of it no besides the point I found out that this box had gone back and um, was trying to think that it was a virgin box so I went in and uh, found the you can download something called disk station assistance I think it's called close enough but you can pick the, the the unit you have and it will be right there at the top it's just a little bit of software that you install and it detects your network and it finds any disk station that is on your network so it, it found the disk station on the new IP that it has gotten from the DSGP server and I was able to to go and download a new pattern files for it 
which is it's kind of the operating system the the unit itself has just enough software so that it can go out and get an IP number and then you use this piece of software that you install on your machine and you go in and you find it and you tell it I want to install this version of Synology software on it there is not really very many to pick from it's it's more like the newer version you might need to go a version back for some reason you can do that so I went in there and I downloaded the the Synology pattern file for it and I uploaded it to the box and luckily it did not want to format my disks in there so I was able to to put the operating system back onto the box which has, it has destroyed that when you take when I took the newer three terabyte drive and put in there with the newer uh, operating system it um, kind of destroyed the operating system on the three disks that was there instead of um, doing anything it was supposed to destroy the operating system on the three terabyte it did not do that because that operating system was the newest and the box was apparently too stupid to find that out but, but gladly it was uh, it was good enough to actually find out that I was not about to destroy that data I could install the operating system and it did tell me that uh, my volumes were still there even though by that time it had um, discarded this two terabyte drive and told me that well, it couldn't read that one that this one was out of the loop so I put back in the three terabyte drive and started a rebuilding on that and that is actually still working right now it's, it's still rebuilding data um, like right now the data is on three drives onto three three drives and it's spreading that out onto the four drives and when it has completed that I will also have an additional terabyte of data available for me so but this was too close for comfort but it was really me that fucked up I should have foreseen that so um, next time I do something stupid like this I'll be sure to format the drive before putting it in because this was like this close and it, it's not this is the backup it's it's not a big deal I have I have the data at home but it's four terabytes it would probably take a week to copy that over to this box let's go very quick to the computer and see what it's doing right now just just to change the camera angle really I've been yapping along here for minutes okay here is the box really quick it's it's old it's from 2011 these numbers means uh, DS is disk station 4 means that it has 4 drives inside 11 is the year that this is from so 2011 J um, I don't have the faintest idea okay here it is and it has been working for oh, I think at least 24 hours right now uh, and it has completed about 64.4 percent and this is going really slow I am using the box I have copied my data to it uh, from oh, I have I have this tiny little two and a half inch one terabyte drive that I use to carry the data forth and back and this is USB 3 normally I keep the footage on the camera bring it back home and copy it into the computer and well, I bring the finished films back up here and put them on my server or oh, this Synology box. We can kind of see that here. My Playhouse NAS. There I have my Playhouse there. It's a bit slow right now. So I have my archive here. And all kind of weird stuff. <laughs> the music. Yeah, everybody likes the music. So the music library for this is like one file. Microchip is the music that you're hearing right now. I have all my videos down here. This is videos from 1 to 100, 100 to 200 and so forth. Right now I am, oh, where I am I? Where am I? I think I, the last one is 473. Yes, that was just put there the other day. Oh, that's from today, right? Yeah, 
Today is the 5th of February, so that's uh, from today that I've put that file there. And using the data on the Synology NAS at the same time as it is doing its check here, well, that really slows it down. So I am I'm not being good about that. So, But let's see um, an overview here. Right now it's healthy. It's, it's doing good. I have used 4.1 terabyte out of the 5.4 terabyte that is available. I have created one disk group and it's running this SHR. And if you don't know what that is, I did a couple of videos on this. This is brilliant. And this is where Synology really kicks ass compared to a lot of other products. Um, because it can do some really neat stuff with very few resources. I'm not saying that this box that I have here is very awesome. It's actually both old and slow by now, but it is able to do this SHR, which is really awesome. So I have the drives there and I'm just using whatever I have laying around and especially this one is gonna get people upset. I have a Western Digital Green Drive in there. And if we check that, here, we can see that this Western Digital Green Drive has been running 16,045 hours. Let's just check how long that is. 672 days, continually, so. Even though this is not a NAS drive, it's doing fairly good. And all these disks has just been put into one group and I'm expanding it as I go. And four terabytes of video data from three years of doing YouTube videos is really not bad. So that's no problem whatsoever. I can still have all my data on one disk and it doesn't even have to be that big. Well, I'm running out of battery. I have to wrap this up. Um, my next plan is actually to take this disc, which is a transportable disc, and I'm gonna be taking that out of the case. When, when this one is done um, doing its thing, I'll be putting in this one. This is also a three terabyte drive, and that's gonna be extending the box down here to even more capacity. You might ask yourself why I don't just use a server up here, and that's really money. A server like this uses 250 watts this thing 45 watts or something like that and having I could use my 24 7 server over here for this purpose that would mean that I had to get some rather big two and a half inch discs to put in that like terabyte uh, drives to get the data that I need and they are also kind of pricey. So right now I'm using this solution. I might change it someday, but um, well, give me all your knowledge in the comments below. Um, and remember a box like this, you can really make all the rate and security that you want, but it's not the replacement for your backup. You need to have your backup and it needs to be on a separate location. Otherwise someone might run away with it and then your rate whatever didn't help you any, did it? So, well, wise knowledge in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.